A long-term argument over clean energy should soon be resolved. Sleep researchers want to test the belief that power generating wind turbines can make nearby people sick. From the farm to the sleep research lab, a visiting Swedish academic is today's volunteer for the latest tests. Right, you can see her brain slowing down a little bit, so they're quite fast in there, but they're a bit slower in here, so she's just sort of maybe heading off to sleep a little bit there. A controversial theory which has the potential to dent wind power's contribution to clean energy needs basically states that periodic inaudible or infrasound generated by wind farms can harm health. Now the Sydney University affiliated Woolcock Institute has joined forces with sound experts to scientifically expose 40 people to infrasound waves from wind turbines. For all intents and purposes the synthesised sound is, is what is being um, emitted by wind turbines. Australia is currently home to about 80 wind farms housing about 2,000 turbines. Many more are in the pipeline, wind being the cheapest source of large-scale renewable energy. Some living close to turbines report a range of health issues including nausea, headaches, dizziness and sleep disturbances. The lab tests should answer the question as to whether such illnesses are psychological. People won't be able to tell whether the infrasound is playing or not. And so, yeah, they can't, they can't react to a wind turbine sitting on a hill because there is no wind turbine sitting on a hill. We're not relying on people's judgment as to whether they're being affected or not. We're actually measuring real physical uh, uh, constants that, that relate to their health. Over periods of 72 hours in a purpose-built laboratory, the selected group, all with no insensitivity to sound, will randomly be exposed to the infrasound, traffic noise and silence. Researchers will monitor sleep quality, heart rate, blood pressure, neurocognitive functioning, stress and anxiety levels to determine whether so-called wind turbine syndrome is real. At the moment there's no studies that show that wind farm noise causes health effects, but there's also no studies that show it doesn't. The findings are expected in 2020. John Hayes-Bell, SBS World News.